and Laura Lafoon here to answer your questions about marriage and relationships. Now this one came, it's really funny because this one came from a Facebook fan, but also it's something that I've it's been reading about and it's very interesting. It's so trend. let's see what you guys think. The new trend due to whatever reason, whether it is couples marrying later in life or sleeping habits, the Bad new trend habits. The new trend is having separate bedrooms. I read, I did, I read an article recently that proposed that separate bedrooms can create a spark in a couple's intimate life. We saw a program where they were building a new house and the new house had two master bedrooms, mm -hmm. one for him, one for her. So what say and you? And they would set, you know, like dates to meet in each other's bedroom. But I'm like, that's just weird. Now, what a part of what the article that I read said, part of why this is happening is because couples are getting married later in life and they've already established some habits and they don't really want to break those habits. But here's the deal, that's part of getting married. Whether you get married at 18 or you get married at 55 or even older, you are gonna automatically have some habits. Like here's what, when we got married, we were 21 and 22, right? I, we'd both been through college. My habit was to not eat all day, but eat all night. <laughs> and my habit was to eat all day, but not eat at night. So what good is that going to so do you know if neither one of us changed that habit? We started eating all day and all night. <laughs> so, but we had to mesh those habits together. And that's the same thing as this article talking about, you know, well, it was just easier to go ahead and have separate bedrooms. Marriage isn't supposed to necessarily be easy. It's going to take a lot of work. And some of that work comes in having to mesh some of your habits together. Now, don't don't hear me wrong. There are nights I wish he could go to another bed because he snores like a freight train. But you know what? Again, that's part of marriage. And it's not every is night. 99.9% .9 of the time. <laughs> but part of marriage is getting used to those things about each other and enjoying the joy, the trials, there's all benefits The there. other issue at play here is intimacy. And I'm not just talking about sexual intimacy. I'm talking about a feeling of closeness. And there is something, I, I can't explain it, but you understand it. There's something about sleeping in the same bed that makes you feel close. Now, there are nights when I feel really cold coming from the other side of the bed, but you know, we work through that and that's part of the intimacy. But there's something about drifting off to sleep together, whether you're holding hands or you have a good night kiss or, or you, you say a prayer together. There, that builds your intimacy. That builds your togetherness. That all happens before the drool on the pillow and the sleeping morning breath. And the bad breath, breath and, and the and hair the and all that. But you know what, again, it's part of marriage. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this new trend of separate bedrooms. I just think it's silly. But you know I, what? You could put your comments underneath this, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook or however you're watching this comment, and let us know what you think about separate bedrooms. You're not a big fan of separate bedrooms? I, I think it's wrong. I'm a little more black and white. I think if you're getting married, well, get that's married. That's basically what I said. <laughs> no, you said I'm not a fan. Hey, thanks for tuning in. This has been Jay and Laura TV. We're here to answer your questions about marriage.